Since the whole world start this battle against terrorism, they ignore totally that full respect for human rights is one very important tool to fight terrorism. It is time for women to bring humanity back into um, a better relationship to itself, to its rights, to its community. During World War II, 60 million people were killed. In the wake of these horrors, the world vowed never again. We stand today at the threshold of a great event. What we see throughout history in different countries is that some are more human than others, and some are more entitled than others. The message to the women of the world is, Arise. Throughout the 1970s, 80s, and 90s, momentum was strong. But just as human rights were finally gaining international attention, the unthinkable happened. Oh my God. Our war on terror begins with Al Qaeda, but it does not end there. Terrorism became the dominant issue, and national security the top priority. Ordinary people voluntarily give up on some of their liberties because of the fear of uh, what can happen. The pace of anti-terror operations has stepped up across Europe. Of course, they were seen as necessary for uh, security, but some of the legislation in the Middle East, North Africa especially, made a complete autocracy uh, the norm. Headlines around the world labeled the acts atrocities. It really shifted the government's willingness to trade off human rights for security. This is an indication that our values have changed. Since 9-11, the Middle East North Africa region has been embroiled in a non-stop series of conflicts. These videos attract certain people, young people. This kind of terrorism is a global struggle. No amount of security by itself will save us from terrorism. What we're asking for is an investment in human security, in the security and safety and dignity of people, not in more arms that are actually a threat to people. We need to understand that women profoundly have the answers to how we make the changes in society. We've got to actually light the fire in civil society to make these, these rights real and ground. And then to say, how do we move together to bring about this change? We just have to get our act together, work together, and when we see things which are wrong, to speak out. The answer is action. And out of their silence came thousands of voices. I know my rights and I'm willing to fight for them. We have to finish. And it is possible. It's possible. We just have to believe that it is.